gotta make this happen. This is how we catch our bison. I'm just gonna. Should I give him some? <laughs> We're actually in a tornado. You guys ready to get in? Hungry? All right, they've been locked out of here. They wanna go where that is. So we're gonna let them in and catch them. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Thermers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Had the yearlings locked out of their Oklahoma Pride bulk bin a feeder uh, for a couple of days now. And so they're setting up here, ready to get in here and get some grain. We're working these guys tomorrow, so you know what that means. We gotta catch them. This is how we catch our bison. Come here, Maya. <laughs> Come on, Hoss. Maya, no. There he is. Come on, Hoss. There's the rest of them. Oh, he's excited. All right, so I'll count them. Oh, no, we've got two more, three more. As I say, I'm gonna have to do a count check. Here we go. Come here, Maya. There's one of the ones we raise. Come on. There's the other one. Maya, come here. Well, that went pretty good sometimes it goes good like that and sometimes it doesn't so pretty easy catch there these guys like i've said i've been giving these guys grain pretty much all summer and they're young so it's good supplemental feed for them um, in their early stages of, of growing easy uh catch right there so i've had them locked out for two days but uh glad we got them next is the big joe herd so basically i just pulled them out of them out of pasture one and now I've got to bring a big Joe and them up to pasture one, which shouldn't be too bad of a challenge uh, considering they chase the Polaris every time I go in there. So, but you can kind of see the conditions today. The bad part about what's going on is uh, we're getting rain. Now, that is a very, very good thing. It is much needed, lots of rain. But the bad part, the bad part about the rain is we are working them tomorrow and it could be, uh, quite a challenge through the mud um, and the other bad part is uh, my skid steer implement uh the pusher that we were making we've had some issues finding the right size of hydraulic cylinder with the time crunch that we're on it's my fault i should have done i should have been proactive and got it done a long time ago but uh it'd be nice to have but it doesn't look like we're gonna have it we just had some trouble finding and locating the right size of um, hydraulic uh, cylinder and uh, yeah, you could have ordered online, but the time crunch we're in, it wasn't gonna be here in time. But we end up finding some, but I just don't know if they're gonna get done uh, in time. So with that being said, we'll make it work. Next thing on the list, let's go get Big Joe. Well, I just got a text message from a buddy, Chandler. Chandler uh, always comes and helps film with Cole. My buddy Cole Meager is kind of the, is the guy who introduced me to Chandler, kind of a mutual friend uh, ship there, but Cole can't make it to the working. He's got a pinched nerve. He's been working hard on his uh, home and his fence and stuff. So he's got a pinched nerve. So he's not gonna make it up here to the working. He's got a rest. So Chandler is on his way. Chandler just texted me, he's coming. So what I'm gonna do is wait on him and kind of give him a show. He doesn't know what he's getting into every time he comes up here. I'm always full of surprises. So I'm waiting on Chandler and when he gets here, we're gonna hop in the ATV and go round up to Big Joe Harden. The bees are lacking something. I'm not sure what it is, but they're lacking something in the speed. All 
All right, guys. Chandler is here, but uh, he brought some storms with him. So uh, <laughs> we're actually in a tornado watch um, here for Murray County. But uh, the weather's uh, changing really fast. Um, there's a bunch of seagulls flying around. Interesting. Uh, yeah. It's wild looking. This is Oklahoma. This is how it goes. This front's coming through. It's going to bring some severe weather. So what we've got to do is we've got to hustle. We've got the ATV, Maya. we got the drone flying. Chandler and I are going to go out here. I see the big Joe herd. Luckily, they're not very far from us. So we can uh, get them. We're just going to move them in a pasture, the closest pasture. From there, I think I can get them to follow us up to the corral and, and catch them at that point. So we'll see what we can do right here with them and hopefully we can get them caught. Whew. Cold air just hit. <laughs> Literally just hit. It's like cold air. He's colder. Just dropped. There they are. We gotta make this happen. Jeez, that's chilly. Yeah. It shouldn't be hard because they're right here. So we'll just get them in here and then they'll follow us. Usually just take some cubes. There's Big Joe, he's waiting on you. All right, we're here. So <laughs> it's not gonna be as difficult as a, a thought, but luckily they're right here um, close. So all I've gotta do is open this gate. They'll fly in and uh, we're gonna try to get them up there to the red barn and see how they do. If we can, if we can get them up there, we'll see. We're gonna have to act pretty fast. This front literally hit. We hopped in the ATV and took off, and it literally, the wind started blowing, and the temperature in the wind is probably 15 degrees colder, and I'm not even kidding. It is so much more colder. All right, drones up. Here we go, guys. Let's get them. Let's rotate them in. Hey. Hey, buddy. You ready to go to a new pasture? All right, here we go, guys. All right, out of there, into here. Makes a difference. Should I get them? Some? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna shut this gate. <laughs>
if you need to land it over there on my truck or something, go ahead. I'm gonna open up these and see if I can get them to go in there. Huh? I think I might just film right here. You're yeah, you're good. Yeah, Thor. Say no, they're so dadgum smart. Yeah. Say no. Let's see if we can get one of these to go in Why are they doing that? Come on. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. At least. All right, guys, next morning, it's a day of working. I've got to get the Big Joe herd up here in the trap before we head to the Dunbar place. Um, so the yearlings are up here, and I got to get them from A to a smaller B. Do that real quick. Big Joe herd is out here in the pasture, way over there. You guys can't see them, but get these yearlings out of here where the feed bunk is, put them in this working area, and then try to get Big Joe up. Then we gotta go to the Dunbar place and get it all started. Get these guys caught. I knew somebody to move. Haas is in the front. See if it... Thor, come here. Come here. Thor, you're gonna cause problems. Come here. Come on. Come on, Thor. Come on. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on, let's go. Come here, Thor. Come here, you stay in here. You messed stuff up. Hey, Bo, I'm right here. I'm just gonna see if it works. Hey, Hoss. Hoss, go. Hoss. There you go.
They should. Thank you. Look at him running. Woo! Hello! We can, uh, we're going to get some rubber and conveyor belting and take two to the Dunbar place. What are you doing? How long? Ten. One ten, two, two ten. tens. Perfect. It's pretty thick. <laughs> Beep! Just sitting there. <laughs> Look at it. Yeah, it's pretty thick. Dusty wants us to cut this rubber with this little exacto knife box cutter. Ten hours later. <laughs> 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 hours longer. Who wants, to, who wants to grind on this 3 8 conveyor belt a little more? It made a scratch. <laughs> Watch out, dog. Two, three. Yeah, I don't think the wind's gonna blow that out. Uh -huh. Not today. Not today. One, two, three. It ain't going anywhere. There you go. Got it. All right. Roll it. Hmm? Wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> Hey, what's up? You just riding with daddy today? <laughs> Alright, so Bo and Chandler and I, we uh, we got the yearlings sorted where I want them um, in some tight holding corrals. Uh, smaller proximity, uh, which is good for them. And then the Big Joe herd is up in my bigger lot um, where the feeder is. So they're going to be happy because they can get some grain while they're out here today but um, so we're gonna head to mom and Kevin's where the Dunbar herd is they were caught last night by Kevin we've been training them um, pretty for about two weeks now and Kevin's been doing most of that and he got them caught last night so uh, we should have a better start to the day um, this year than uh, last spring so we're gonna go over there get them worked we got to do it we're gonna hang up some more conveyor belting and then we're gonna get it going over there so hope you guys are ready for it and stay tuned of course uh, this is all the prep work that goes into it just before everything this is the day of but you guys will see it next time so stay tuned uh, to see all the herds work across terms rising thank you guys for watching What's up?